Good morning. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Let me move this camera. Get that well, the sunlight coming in from this early morning sun uh, today. Today we're going to be in Daniel chapter 5. What verse or verses rose up for you? For me, verses 22 and 23. I titled this, God Be Glorified. Here's my G, God's Word. You are his successor, O Belshazzar, and you knew all this, yet you have not humbled yourself. For you have proudly defied the Lord of heaven and have had these cups from his temple brought before you. You and your nobles and your wives and concubines have been drinking wine from, from them while praising gods of silver, gold, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Gods that neither see nor hear nor know anything at all. But you have not honored the God who gives you the breath of life and controls your destiny. Here's my arm I reveal. Would I be as bold as Daniel if I were put in his place? In most cases, a king would kill the bearer of bad news. Daniel did not fear death. He cared only that God be glorified. Daniel was calling a spade a spade. He was telling uh, King Belshazzar, who had replaced Nebuchadnezzar, uh, you're not honoring the things of, of the Lord. You're dishonoring him. You're dishonoring those things. Uh, those things are sanctified, put off for service to him. Um, he will call you to accountability, um, and he will, he will fight his own battles and you better look out. And later that night, King Belshazzar, his life was taken from him, uh, because of this, uh, pretty bold for Daniel, uh, to speak to the king like that. I mean, the king could have easily had him killed for saying things like that, but he didn't. Um, here's my eye, here's my implementation. We must be careful to not misuse those things dedicated to the Lord. Things like church buildings, offerings dedicated to certain ministries, musical instruments, etc., etc. We must honor the Lord with all we say and do. Here's my P, here's my prayer. Lord, forgive us where we fail to bring honor and glory to your name. Let us not treat those things dedicated to your service in a vile manner. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, guys, let's get serious about sin and about misusing those things that God has consecrated and dedicated to himself. Um, let's, let's make sure that those things are held in highest regard uh, and that uh, we speak up like Daniel did. Let's do that. Our society needs that. Our society needs to know what truth is. And who's, who's going to know truth if nobody tells them? So let's, uh, let's go out and do that, okay? That's my charge to each one of us. Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, I pray for boldness to speak like Daniel. Uh, Lord, that when I see something going on wrong that shouldn't be going on, that I would speak out against it and remind people why. Lord, I pray that my uh, faith in you, uh, my feelings for you would come forward uh, through the convictions that uh, you've laid upon my heart. And Lord, I pray that you would just use us all in this manner to bring honor and glory to your name. In all things we pray this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, be blessed. I'll see you back tomorrow.